Hey guys and welcome back to another video. As you can see, we are on our travels yet again and this week I am coming to you from Germany where I have come for cake and bake Tortenmesser. Let's have a bit of a, an action shot with the logo in the background. Now, in its fifth year, Cake and Bake in Essen in Germany is a celebration of all things cake and sugar craft and when we go inside in a minute you'll see very reminiscent of Cake International in the UK, even down to the pink carpets. Now just like Cake International, we have a whole host of retailers here selling the latest innovations in sugar craft. There are some fantastic collaborative displays and I was lucky enough to contribute to one of them, which I'll take you to see in a little while. And of course there are loads and loads of beautiful competition entries, so we'll be sure to go and take a look at those too. Anyway, enough of this, let's get to the video. Now I was actually supposed to come along last year to the show, but kind of double booked myself and uh, had to cancel because I had a wedding cake to make for my brother. I don't quite know how one forgets one's brother's wedding or wedding cake and books a trip to Germany, but there you go. If anyone was going to do it, it would be me. But never mind, it all came together. I made this beautiful cake. And this year I have finally made it to the show. So it's currently 20 past nine and the show is due to open at about 10 o'clock. I've delivered my uh, display pieces and now I'm just finding a friendly face who might possibly let me stash my stuff on their stand. I'm really looking forward to checking out some new brands that possibly I haven't heard of, some new products. But of course we'll also have some familiar faces including, as with every video, Brie do you need to wave? It's tradition. And we are open. I think it's gonna be a busy day. So I have been basically kidnapped by um, the Sugar Press girls um, because not many people know this, but I have um, high school level German, which basically means I can ask for directions and talk about food. Now, this does also mean that I know nothing about sugar craft in German. I can't, um, oh, hang on. So where was I? Um, so I've been kidnapped by Breeder and Mary Moo um, of the Sugar Press um, for high school level German and we were able to um, grab a very helpful passerby to help us translate um, Breeder's posters which were all in English at the um, German cake show. So um, Karina Maguire, you know her, she's over there somewhere now. She uh, basically whipped out her laptop and then we've found a very helpful young man, young man, gentleman. We found a very helpful gentleman to print them off for us. So I'm going to try and read it to you. Um, so here we go. We have a Pauschalangerbord, Pauschalangerbord, which means like a, a package deal. And in that package deal you get ein Sugar Press Buchstaben set, ein Sugar Press Zahlen set, that's numbers, the first one was letters, ein Halbpreisbrett, Dirk Zichtig, uh, which is a like semicircle thing. Um, cupcake brett, oh I've missed one. Rectekiges brett, which is like a, a rectangle stamp thing. Cupcake brett. And Sprukleber für die Bretter, which I know is spray adhesive for the stamps. Das Angebot gilt nur für dieses Wochenende. 
und kann nicht online bestellt werden, which basically means this deal is only available this weekend and can't be found online. Yeah. Try not to notice that that same thing is up on the wall in English and therefore I could totally have cheated. Anyway, I really should um, try and take in some more of the show rather than just harassing um, these guys. But before I go, it's finally happened. Finally found one. I'm so happy. Look really happy. I, by the way, have a full audience who are watching me do this right now. And um, they're all laughing at me, but I don't care. So anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, I found out 
actually how this works now. There's a draw in 15 minutes. I can't say Raffle in German. I can say 15 minutes. I can't explain how it works. I have no idea who the sponsors are. I am literally the best at this and people are trying to talk to me again. Shh. Hey guys and welcome back to day two of the Cake and Bake Show here in Essen and today I'm going to try and get around and show you the competition pieces because just from what I've seen already they look incredible. We're also going to try and grab some people to tell us what they've been up to over the weekend. Um, I'm also going to try not to walk into the people in front of me. Um, and yeah, so just hopefully capture a little bit more of what's going on for you. What are we doing today? Um, well, yesterday I made a cake full of bananas and monkeys. And today I'm going to do a polar bear and penguin cake. So, yeah. And what are you using to make your cake? Well, of course, I'm using my cake duchess mulling paste and also my brand new cake duchess covering paste. With all the good bits from the modeling paste, but then softer and easier to knead, so yeah.
Hawaii. <laughs> so I'm using a new product of uh, Saracino. The, um, uh, um, they changed the name. I think it's um, uh, it was Teco Talk, and now it's, uh, it's Pasta Sculptura. Uh -huh. It's called it from now on. It's really, really nice product. It's made from um, chocolate. It's like modeling chocolate, but it's more. Uh, uh, easy to use to blend I mean if you have a piece here and you want to um, uh, place it here you can see how easy it blends and you can erase everything it's a very very nice product I use it for my boost cakes and everything you can erase everything oh, wow that is good yes so I will try to make a face now a big face like like sculpting technique Today I want to shop I don't know what I want to buy but I want to shop Got to use up those euros. I've come out to the, uh, the, the, the dodgy area where the, the <laughs> disgusting people hang out and I found one such person who some of you may recognise from my, I want to say Wales, was it Wales where you Wales. Like, tried to accost me? Well, that was one of the places. Well, it's, yeah, it's yeah. true. It was probably bad. the first one. And um, so, this is, for those of you who don't know, this is Tanya Ross and she is Novelty Cakes, winner of Best in Show at the okay. Northern Island, I, I can't even say it, Northern Island Sugar Expo. Nice. Nice. See that? I've got it down now. <laughs> um, so you're here in Germany? Yes, I am. Why? Jawohl. Because of the brilliant cake show here with loads to do and see. Okay, and what have you been doing this week? Oh, I literally, I'm slow. I haven't had a drink for the record. And what have you been doing this weekend? Well, we were building a magnificent display, an edible display for sweet impressions. We've been and had a look. A walkthrough. Uh, that was all of Friday, and then there's a competition area, so we were putting cakes in there and doing demos all over the place. For. Excellent. So what have you been demoing? I demoed airbrushing for the Cake and Bake Show, and I've been demoing Magic Colors. Awesome. Yes. So where can we come and see you in action, or are you done now? I'm done now. Oh, nice. Is that why we've already hit the alcohol? I don't know what you mean, what Rob. It's, oh, it's lies, lies and insinuations. Dusting. Well, thank you so much, Han, and I will see you in a bit. Yes, you will. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, I've managed to find the one and only <laughs> Emma Jane. Sorry, I'm kind of shouting, so the microphone picks me up. So, Emma, yes. when did you get here? Yesterday. Yesterday, and what are you doing? D just finished a four-hour demo. Um, Workshop, sorry. Oh, so what were you teaching? Bunny. The bu oh, the Adorable bunny. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll put a picture of it up, guys, so that you can yeah. see what she was doing. Yeah. And how many people? I think there was 11 in the class today. Awesome. So, good class. Everybody enjoyed. Really went well. Oh, did a good yeah. job? Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah, relaxed. Relaxed class. A lot of cutting with the scissors. Really good class. And how did you get on with the language? Well, I had a translator. Oh, so you, Marina. You're Marina not give was us there. Your, uh, your best bit of German then. Uh, there was one word that I learnt, and it's for but it's for your backside or your okay. cheeks. I've gotten the word now, man. I'm not very good at German. So you learnt one word, but you've already I've forgotten. Gone, yeah. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I've told them already. I actually did German at school. Yeah, yeah. And um, I have managed to use pretty much none of it all oh, weekend, okay. other yeah, than yeah. sorry every time I hit someone with my camera. <laughs> so it's, that's gone really well. But so when can we see you next? Where are you? Where are you popping up? Okay. So next, so my mind's gone blank because I'm all over the place. I'll be going off to Zoe's at at Leeds. Fabulous. Zoe's Fancy Cakes at Leeds. So I'll be there 
next week. Okay. Um, so there for four days, uh, then I come back, then I travelled, I think it's France I've got next. Okay. Then we've got it Italy if that happens, and then uh, I've got India, wow. back to Australia. So there's loads going on. And that's in between zipping here and then in our country. So. Quite the jet assessor. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Do you need an assistant? Yes. Will you come with me? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, we'll yeah. make that happen. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll let you carry on. Okay. Thanks Thank for talking. you. No worries. Oh, I'm videoing. Oh. <laughs> Emma, love. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Oh, you like? Good to see you. I'm, I'm super impressed. <laughs> I cannot get over the size of it. Yeah, but it's actually the correct size of the real cake, which is... Um, I, I measured it. So what size is it? It's 35 centimeters thick and 90 centimeters in diameter. So it's, it's quite large. This would have been made in a real fruitcake in okay. the past, you know, it was for 1840. So even getting this year? That was okay, because Royal Icing transports perfectly yeah, well. It's yeah. very art, you know. It's, uh, this is all Royal Icing. Yeah. Made the traditional way after sandpaper down to make like plaster, so it's so smooth. And uh, I copied the design. Well, there's actually a story about that before doing it. Yeah. I gave Eddie Spencer a call. And I said, Eddie, I'm making, I want to make this cake, this royal cake, because it's 200 years this year for Victoria, uh, when she was born. And he said, I said to him, I said, you made all these royal cakes. I said, you know, he said, I wasn't born then, you know. <laughs> he said, I'm not that old. He said, I've stopped cake decorating, but I wasn't born. So I said, look, you must know something. He said, I don't know anything. You so, didn't know anything. No, didn't know anything about it. So then I called Christine Flynn. Yeah. And Christine Flynn helped me also kind of with the information a little bit about it. And we are rollback, you know. And then Eddie said, um, you know, I'd love to do it, help you with it. Really? Yeah. And I said, are you sure? He that, said, yeah. But I can't travel. He said, I can't travel. I said, don't worry, I'll come over. No, no, send me a list of what you need. So I made him a list like that. I need uh, 350 roses. I need this and this. I thought, no, I can't do that. I said, I'm coming over. Yeah, yeah. And um, he opened his door to me, did the cake icing and decorated. It was fantastic. I was really, I was really petrified, you know. I've been doing cake for 48 years, but I was still petrified to see the master, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, um, he is, isn't he? Yeah. He is the master. Yeah. Yeah. And Tracy and Eddie were absolutely lovely. They treated me like family and adopted me. But to do it, I had to make a design, which is copied from there to scale. Yeah. And as I'm somebody that I thought, oh, that looks a little bit too simple, you know? Yeah. I added this onto it, which would have been there adding... On the design, it looked great. But when I finished the cake... You didn't like it. It didn't need it. Uh, I saw it immediately. I thought, wow, that is a wedding cake. Sometimes less is more, isn't it? Less is more, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or more or less. Yeah, more, <laughs> more or less. <laughs> so the figures were... It's the only designs we have. And we just copied. So this is actually... But that is the size of that. That is the size of that. So I just worked with the paper and the scale. It's made with Renshaw's uh, gum paste, wow. flower paste. Yeah. Which, it Fantastic. Works it works. It works beautifully. Well, Great product. Know, I'm Renshaw. I use Renshaw for everything. Yeah, and I've yeah. used Renshaw since they began. Yeah, yeah. Which used to only make marzipan in the times. So how long did it take to make? This started, um, well, I started it in January. Yes. Yeah, so it maybe a few, uh, maybe two and a half months. So it's a work of passion, yeah? Sorry? It's a work of passion. Yeah, it, well, it is actually. And now what's going to happen with the cake yeah. Is it going to go to um, the British residence to celebrate the Queen, Queen Elizabeth's birthday next month? Wow. And there they will have proper English fruit, like, fruit cake, which is sourced with uh, alcohol at home. Uh, Fantastic. So no, it's, it's been great. an amazing experience. Then. It's been a great, amazing experience. And Eddie has been fantastic. And, um, but just he, that alone is yeah. worth it, isn't it? He made a beautiful text and everything, and he said, uh, yeah, that you read on Facebook anyway, so it's so beautiful. Well, no, congratulations, Michael. Thank you, my love. That's quite an achievement, isn't it? Yeah.
So hi Carla, what are you doing? So I'm playing with the isomalt. <laughs> it's a different kind of sugar that doesn't make anything wrong to your teeth or to your body and you can replace all the sugar in your recipes by isomalt. It's not so sweet but you won't notice the, the difference between using the sugar or the isomalt. So now I'm making candy. I'm trying to cool this down so I can work it and you don't need fancy materials or nothing complicated. Just a scissor, a steel pad and a lamp with a UV lamp. What? The gloves is, uh, are thermic gloves and inside I have cotton gloves because of, because of, of sweating and also protects from the heat. But it's mostly because of sweating my hands. The important ones are these thermic gloves. So I'm inserting air on my isomalt. When I do that, it comes more shiny, but it's because of the air, nothing else. very easy to work with when it's not too hot. <laughs> very easy to make candy at home. <laughs> Coconut flavor for everyone. So that was my video from Cake and Bake in Essen, Germany. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Now, um, you may be noticing that some time has passed since I filmed this video and I must apologize for taking so long to get it done. Um, I had a lot of footage. So many awesome people were happy to stop and talk to me, which is great but it meant that I was absolutely spoiled for choice when it came to um, what I could include, what I could show you. So I hope I managed to choose the, the best content to really give you guys the inside scoop of what the show was like. Um, and I do hope that some of you have been inspired to come and visit next year. Now you may be noticing it's a little bit echoey where I am filming this final bit of this video. And um, that's because I thought I'd give you guys a sneaky little update on uh, my new studio. So, as you can see, we have finally had the walls plastered, the new lighting is in, and we are literally just waiting for a couple more days for this plaster to... What, what is the word? Set? Cure? dry. We're waiting for the plaster to be ready so that we can get some paint on the walls, then it will be time to do something with the floor and then hopefully we can get the kitchen installed so that I can be up and filming videos in... gosh I really do hope by the end of July. So do bear with me, it is coming. I know it's taken a while but we will get there and we will have the Mr. Baker's Blog Kitchen. Anyway, um, I'm rambling and I want to get this video up tonight so it's best that I stop talking and go and finish editing. And then, um, yeah, and you guys can let me know what you think. So let me know if you're planning on coming to Germany next year. Let me know if you're looking forward to my studio being finished. Um, let me know if you have a fantastic idea for a video that you think I should shoot once the studio is finished. And um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos from Mr. Baker's blog here on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button down there on the right. I don't know. Um, if you've already subscribed to Mr. Baker's blog, if you hit the bell icon down there next to the button, that will make sure you get a notification of every time I post. And um, of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching guys, see you later, bye.